Hello Sigmas. So far we have been working only with Newton's laws of motion which is able to solve any problem in physics. That is if we know the force on a particle what we can do is find the acceleration of that particle using Newton's second law. And once we know the acceleration we can find its velocity. This is the acceleration as a function of time. We are going to know acceleration as a function of time and hence we are going to find the velocity as a function of time by just integrating acceleration as a function of time and then we can find the position as a function of time by integrating the velocity of that body. So far so good but there is a small problem then. Here in Newtonian mechanics whatever problems we have solved so far the force was actually a function of time but this is not always the case. In nature we don't always know the force on a body as a function of time. In fact most of the times it is a function of position. Let me explain it with some examples. Look at the gravitational force. The gravitational force is given by this expression, right? Here you can easily see that F is actually a function of R, the separation between the two bodies. And similarly, the Coulomb force, that is the electrostatic force, is also a function of position. The electrostatic force is uh, given by this expression which is again a function of position and so is the spring force. K into X is a function of x and hence we can see there are several such forces which are actually a function of position and now if it is a function of position Newton's second law will look something like this. And this is different from uh, the forces that we had so far which were a function of time. Now a physicist who was a mathematician in his undergraduate course might argue that now we will have to learn some numerical methods. To solve this differential equation which is kind of fine from the calculational point of view but actually this approach is too narrow to give us any physical understanding. That is this is okay for uh, mathematicians. Who only care about the answer but but this um, way of solving the differential equation will not give any physical interpretation. And hence is uh, useless for a physicist. And hence we have to uh, move aside from Newtonian mechanics that is the Newton's laws of motion and have to introduce a new concept that is of work and energy and that is exactly what we are going to do in our future, future videos from now. We are going to begin a video series on the work energy theorem and in the very next video I am going to derive that is I am going to solve this equation. I am going to solve this equation. Uh, which will give me the work energy theory.
and that's it i just wanted to explain to you in this video why it is important to study work energy theorem and uh, which is uh, a completely new formalism or different formalism from newton's laws of motion and in fact there are some theories which we are going to look into in our near future known as the lagrangian and hamiltonian mechanics which work entirely on energies they don't look into newton's laws of motion at all and that would be just amazing but for now be content with this expression which we are going to solve in our very next video and to motivate me to create a, create that video do subscribe to my channel and like this video thanks for watching